the beginning of gamak in this exercise we play three notes in one bow so all this while we did 2 4 and 8 now and 1 2 4 and 8 now we do 3 now so this is what you would have thought would be the progressive uh phrase but that's not it now we're going to play re and go up to ga and come back to re with the same finger it's all in one bow so this exercise so you moving up and coming back so with the same fingers so when you play ma don't take away your other two fingers your ga and ma have to be together always you see that ma goes up and comes back and ga and ma and ni and sa have to be close together without a gap like this so that is another thing you have because always it happens when you play your fingers are like this no but ni and sa have to be take together always i do not know if you have been noticing that i've been using the whole bow for every phrase that i've played and that is very very important because you should know how to judiciously use the bow if you want to play good indian classical music so always try to use the bow from one corner to the other and come back to this corner and always start from here go back and come back here now the same exercise you could play 2 4 and 8 i'm not going to play those here but i'm going to show you another variation because i think you can do the 2 4 and 8 it's you can do this this also you can do it's like the earlier exercises now let's do something different This is a variation. Now you played four in a bow. You could play eight in a bow, sixteen in a bow, and thirty-two in a bow. So.
8 now 16 notice that the bow movement doesn't get faster. The finger is fast but the bow is slow here. So all these exercises are to make your brain understand that your left hand and your right hand do not all, are not always in sync. They move at different tempos, different speeds and the brain is being trained here to accept this which would help you play better and always use the bow from one corner to the other always even when you get faster you have to use the whole bow